Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's bound to be one of those wherever you are and a special good after cup of tea for Joe. <laughs> Not sure if Joe listens to this, but anyway, <laughs> good after cup of tea anyhow. It's Lynn on the Learn English Network and I'll remind you it's Lynn because, um, well, some of you might have noticed that Amatsu has done some recordings too, but she's recording the News Roundup and for the people who are struggling to keep up with me, um, she does two versions, one at normal speed and one a little slower and again you can read along on the magazine uh, under the News Roundup um, text. So those of you who are struggling to understand everything here, do a little bit of um, extra practice by listening to Amatsu. And try listening to the slow version first and then the normal speed version. Okay? Anyhow, let's crack on what's been going on the uh, Learn English live chat page this week. Uh, and Laterna Blue, or Laterna Bleu, <laughs> started the week by saying hello. Hello, Laterna Bleu. I know who you are, <laughs> I think. And then um, wrote, is this only a text message chat? Only, honestly. I replied, yes, but somebody who should know better, Zeb, <laughs> obviously knows better than me, said, nope, it's a radio text message chat. And on this radio, you make the programme. Exactly. I couldn't have put it better myself, but it is still text. It is still texting on your side. <laughs> but then you get to hear me uh, rambling uh, on, rambling on uh, for the next half, three quarters of an hour. <laughs> but Laterna wasn't impressed. She went, ah, less fun. Laterna likes to talk, which is good, which is good. So those of you who come to the um, voice sessions regularly would probably know who Laterna Blur is, but I won't let the secret out. I then replied, it depends. Not everyone can join the sessions, so this way they can listen to the chats. Okay. Anyhow, then... Um, Laterna said, I'll come back for the voice session, Lynn. See you. And I said, see you tomorrow. No problem. <laughs> and then those of you who don't know, I did write a little it, sort of cryptic message. A lucky escape. When is plan B not plan B? When it's plan B in Germany. And uh, I should explain. We were going to buy tickets to see plan B uh, in Frankfurt. And we thought it was the plan B, as in uh, my manners broke plan B. But luckily, before he clicked buy, hubby looked up the actual band and it was a different plan B, a German plan B, an old rocker group plan B. I'm sure you're lovely plan B in Germany, but you're not the plan B we wanted to see. So <laughs> Zeb then responded, I understand that you're stuck in Germany with no plan B. Because <laughs> Amatsu went back to plan A then. Unfortunately, there's no plan B for the wrong plan B. And I'm not sure if we've got a plan A either. If you look at how the network's grown over the years, where was plan A in that? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Spanish Survivor joined us very briefly, uh, with, and I know who Spanish Survivor is too. Again, a refugee from the voice sessions, but we got it. Okay, hard to discover, but I did. Why anybody explains we have to create an account in Discuss and Log, and so that to see the last messages, you have to choose that op. <laughs> and then he stuck his tongue out at me. Ah, oh, charming. So, okay, it was hard to find, but I did it. Okay, that's what you would say. Can anyone explain why we have to create an account in Discuss and log in and so on? Just to see the last messages. And you have to choose that option. Okay, choose, C-H-O-O-S-E, messages, M, not N. M for mother, not N for November. M E W S A G E S and option. Although it sounds like a C, it's not. It's a T. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely English pronunciation again. Um, so Zeb then came to the defence and said, "Hello. No doubt that you would work it out with a name like yours, Spanish Survivor. The question now is for how long? <laughs> and it was a question. So maybe you could put a question mark at the end, or was it a statement?" saying what the question is. Mm. Yeah. Well, we haven't heard from Spanish Survivor since. Um, I wrote, hi Spanish Survivor, well, you found us. Well done, you found us. Following the threads can be a bit 
quirky but if you subscribe and click on the right link it takes you to that conversation by the way BTW stands for by the way by the way BTW uh, your post shouldn't end up in moderation any longer but we'll never know because he didn't come back to us Kirti said hi and anybody there Amatsu said hi Kirti obviously not but I'm here now <laughs> And I said, it always reminds me of a seance when I see that. Is there anybody there? Knock once for yes and twice for no. Because Katie didn't come back. Um, so so said, hi everyone. And we said, hi so so. Hi so so didn't come back. <laughs> she was only so so. <laughs> Alwind. Alwind was very proud to find out I'm third in the grid of comments. I'm very good for chatter. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say I'm very good for chatter. I'm very good at chattering or I'm very good at chit chat. Um, and you are a wind. So, but I replied, are we having a race? <laughs> and he went, I went, oh no, absolutely. It was a joke for me. <laughs> so again, don't forget your punctuation at the end of sentences. Smileys do not replace punctuation. Um, it I wouldn't say it was a joke for me, yeah? I was just joking, is what you'd normally say in that context, yeah? Oh, I was only, I was only joking, or I was just joking, that would be fine. Uh, Zeb replied to Arwind, or maybe you're turning yourself into a chatterbox. Are you as talkative when you use your voice? Oh, that's a very good question. Arwind, I'm not sure. I think you've been to some of our sessions, but you are a little quiet. You need to take what you're doing in... Uh, live chat and take it into our voice sessions. Do correct me if I've got the wrong person because all these different names can be confusing. And um, then Arwin said, excuse me, teach, <laughs> teach, <laughs> but I changed my name in the chat because I thought it's more simply the, in this way. Do you agree? So excuse me, Lynn, just call me Lynn. Um, I changed I capital I Harwin changed my name in the chat because I thought it would be more simple this way. Okay. Do you agree? So full stop after this way and then a new sentence, capital D, do you agree? And um Zeb quite surprised that it looks like you're adjusting your virtual identity. And Alwind replied, yes, my think is my think than Alwind is more simple than Alwind Surf and more nice. OK, so yes, I think that Alwind is simpler than Alwind Surf and nicer. OK, Alwind, I'll send you a link to the um, section that we wrote on the comparative yeah when something is more or less than something else okay so i think that alwind is simpler than alwind surf and nicer okay um and i i said was it hearing me say your name that made you change your mind uh alwind and alwin said of course lynn i heard you say my old mate my old name and my 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 thou thouter was change the name now <laughs> oh sorry alwind <laughs> But as long as you're happy with the new name, that's fine. Um, so you say, you would say there, I heard you say my old name. Uh, sorry. I heard you say my old name. And my first thought, T-H-O-U-G-H-T, was change the name now. Very good. Um, Zeb replied, nicer. I, can t I can't tell. <laughs> I like our wind better than our wind surf because it doesn't give any more a straightforward hint about your favourite hobby and real name. I can also associate it with your avatar now. The unlucky but resourceful blue wolf is Alwind. It's not Lupo any longer for me. You're becoming more complex as a virtual character. Alwind replied, I think than you like my virtual character because you don't know how it's going to turn out. OK, that. I think that. You've got a definite problem with than and that. OK, so it's that. I think that. Uh, it's bigger than. And that ties in again with the comparative. Get your head around the comparative and you'll start to find using than and that easier. It's something you just have to have a feeling for. Um, and then Zeb said, lol, which is laugh out loud, of course. Maybe lots of love. Hmm, no lol, <laughs> laugh out loud. Maybe, maybe not. I think I'm just curious about people. Uh, Owen then said, I'm curious also. I like to speak with someone, especially in English. OK, English capital E. Don't forget to f um, finish off that final sentence with a bit of punctuation at the end. Um, I like to speak with someone. Hmm, I like to speak with people, yeah, especially in English. Owen said Zeb. You haven't told me what you did with the chestnuts you picked up last week. P 
picked up? No, you picked or you collected or you gathered. Um, if you pick something up, it's, yeah, but you, it would be like you dropped it and then you picked it up. Um, pick up your clothes, my mother used to say to me, because I used to just, I, I don't do this anymore, by the way, but I used to just drop my clothes on the floor and leave them there and I'd expect my mother to pick up after me. <laughs> so pick up has a slightly more distinctive meaning. So then uh, Sky said, hey, someone want have new food, giving reply and a uh, word. Tea, tie so much. Okay, so I think Sky, you meant, hey, does anyone want to make new friends? Uh, reply, uh, reply and your word. Oh, uh, send me a reply. Um, thank you so much. Ooh, that was difficult. Trying to figure out text speak sometimes is a bit difficult. So don't text unless you're absolutely certain how to write it in full because <laughs> that don't think you could write that in full so um yeah texting when you're not 100 percent certain about your your writing um formal writing not such a great idea okay <laughs> uh, and that's who said hello sky try to keep text peak out of your posts here i know it's rife but you are here to practice your english i don't mind text speak in in live chat okay it's live chat it's a bit relaxed um which is what amatsu meant to say by the way text speak with an s not text peak but i think that's just a typo she knows how to she knows how to say it properly um but i would not use it until you're much more comfortable writing out things in full okay because if you write text speak out and it's wrong grammatically it can be very confusing Amatsu, uh, Zeb then pulled Amatsu up hi Amatsu I understand that we would be better off not using chat abbreviations and shortcuts here when we write but what does keep text peak out of your post mean I don't get it <laughs> So I put Zeb out of her misery. I think she meant text speak, but hey, it was good enough for Queen Victoria. And see the interesting facts blog, um, which is moving around at the moment. It should settle down this week, uh, which was about Queen Victoria was probably the first prominent figure to use text speak in her letters. <laughs> and I said, maybe we should say that text speak is fine in live chat, but not in the lessons. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> that was all in text speak. <laughs> Zeb was annoyed with herself. She said, ah, I should have been able to work it out. And then I'm back from the interesting fact blog. OK, Queen Victoria used text speak, but from the extract given in the blog, it seems to me that she could have expanded it to more words. Yeah, but, you know, this was Victorian times. They weren't known for their um, less rigid following of rules. So I think good for her that she let loose a bit. <laughs> and I said true, but I can't imagine her writing, I heart Prince Albert lol. <laughs> she could have used W-A-N-A. -A. Can you guess what that means? The only thing I can think of, said Zeb, is want to for wanna. Is it it? No, it's not. It's actually, and I thought I'd do this in, in the um, live chat for you. We are not amused. <laughs> but you're right. Wanna, W-A-N-N-A, -A, is um, slang for want to. But my idea of wanna in text speak would be we are not amused, which Queen Victoria often said. Okay, then we got lots of highs. Uh, Moose said, hello all. How are you doing tonight? I hope everything I going well for every one of you. Okay, I think um, hello all, capital H. How are you doing tonight? Capital H for how? Beginning of a sentence. I, I is always capital. So I hope everything is, I-S, small I, small S, going well for all of you. We wouldn't say for every one of you, uh, for all of you. Or for everyone, but not for every one of you. Do you get the difference? I hope everything's going well for all of you. Or I hope everything's going well for everyone. Okay. Um, Amatsu said, Hi Moose, I'm tired tonight, having just finished a six mile walk. So I'll be chilling till I go to bed. <laughs> And uh, Alwyn said, what do you mean with the word chilling? And Zeb replied, I know this one. Chilling means relaxing. I replied, tonight? I've no idea how I will be by, by tonight. I have a German lesson then, so we shall see. It was very good, by the way. We had a pirate party. And Zeb replied, hi, Moose. Here, latitude north, 48 degrees, 51 minutes, 23.81 seconds. Longitude east, 2 degrees, 21 minutes, 8 seconds. It's 3.20 p 
P-M-C-E-T. I hope you'll guess the part of the world I'm sending this message from. Wow, I think you scared Moose off with that. You thought, oh no, it's a game. <laughs> um, then Susanna uh, said, hello, hello, hello. Please, is there anybody to chat with me? And there wasn't. She said, I'm at the school and I prepare my English exam. OK, we well, were preparing your English exam, so we didn't reply. You should do the preparation. So I'm at school, not I'm at the school. We don't know what school you're talking about, so you don't use the, the definite article. There. So I'm at school, capital I, and I am preparing for my English exams. OK, I am, capital I, preparing, because that's what you're doing, for my English E, capital E, exams. OK, full stop. Mohammed said, anyone here from Egypt? Sanjay said, hi. And Sanjay said, please advise me how to speak fluency English. OK, Sanjay, you'd say, please, with a capital P, advise me, because it's the verb with a Z, S, not a C, how to speak English fluently. And English with a capital E and fluently, F-L-U-E-N-T-L-Y, fluently, full stop. And I wrote, how much time do you spend speaking English at the moment, Sanjay? Um, and Sanjay didn't reply. Then Sanjay said, tell me something because I want to write in English. OK, tell, capital T, be, then comma after something, because I, capital I, want to write in English, capital E for English, full stop. And I wrote, what do you want to write about, Sanjay? And Sanjay didn't reply. <laughs> oh, there you go. Getting, getting the feeling for this. Then Shridhar um, said hi to us all. Hi, I'm Shridhar from India. Shridhar, your, your first name, uh, Shridhar, should be a capital S. All um, personal pronouns, your name, should be capitalised. Would like to learn speak in English. Could you please guide? OK, I would like to learn to speak in English. Um, and then, could you please guide me? Yeah. And I gave him a link. Try some of these ideas, which is how to improve your English speaking on the network. And Zeb replied, hi, Shridhar. Have you tried to join G Plus Hangouts to practice your spoken English? Shridhar then said, no. How can I join G Plus Hangouts? Please suggest. OK, please suggest. Mm. Please give me a suggestion or can you suggest some? Oh, please tell me because it's not that she's made the suggestion of joining G Plus Hangouts and now you want her to tell you how to. So please tell me how. And I replied, join our Google Plus group and then join the Hangouts. Simples, as my favourite meerkat would say. And if you don't know what simples means, you haven't been watching the English magazine. It came up in one of the adverts. Uh, it's a famous advert now in the UK that features, believe it or not, meerkats, Russian meerkats who say, Simples. <laughs> it's very funny. You should look at it on YouTube. Look it up on YouTube. And then Shridhar said, thanks, followed, learn English and joined in Hangouts. Good, Shridhar. Then Zeb said, have you found the NENG Plus community? I'm not sure. Shridhar, did you introduce yourself in our Hangout? But anyhow, it's, it's all good. There's lots of Hangouts in Google Plus. You don't need to join ours. So Rafa then said, hi, I want to try learning English with all of you is effective. And I think what you meant to say, Rafa, was, hi, I want to try to learn English with all of you. Is it effective? And I replied, it can be. <laughs> then Rafa said, I see that the comments are old. Why? Do you not practice English in chat? Yeah, they weren't old. It depends which part of the... Um, which depends which part of live chat you go into. So I, I said, just set your view to latest. If you set your view to latest in Discuss, then you'll see the, the newest chats. If you set it to most popular, you'll see some of the popular but older chats, OK? And um, the conversation carried on quite a way, actually. Let's see if I can make sense of this one. And uh, Rafa had said... Which was great. Rafa, excuse me, my name's Rafa and I'm a Catalan man. I'm living near the Mediterranean Sea. So, Rafa, you'd say, uh, excuse me, my name's Rafa and I'm a Catalan with a C, capital C, man. Or I'm Catalonian. Uh, you don't have to say that you're a man or not. It's fine. We don't, yeah, we don't mind. Man, woman, um, pink fluffy toys, whatever. All welcome. <laughs> I am living near the Mediterranean. I live, actually. You would say, I live near the Mediterranean Sea, okay? Because that's where you are most of the time, OK? 
Okay. And Zeb said, hi, Rafa, on the Spanish side. And Rafa said, hi, Zeb. It's your name, Zeb. I'm living in the Ebro Delta. Do you know it? Okay. Again, I live in the Ebro Delta. It's your current permanent address. Okay. So it's always I live. For example, I come from England, but I live in Germany. Okay. Uh, if I said I'm living in Germany, it might indicate I'm planning to move home many time soon. <laughs> I could say I'm living in Germany. <laughs> no, no, I love it here. It's really nice and boring. Okay. So then um, Zeb then replied, close to the sea and in a natural park. Wow. Have you been living there for a long time? Okay. You wouldn't say in a natural park. Most parks are natural unless you can find an unnatural park somewhere. So in a nature park or in a nature reserve, we tend to say. Yeah, You're living in a nature reserve. Wow. Um, I wonder if there are wolves there. Do you know there are wolves in Spain? I discovered. Uh, but I'm not sure if they're in Catalonia or not. And then Rafa said, uh, oh, Zeb, I'm impressed. Yes, I'm living there forever. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it that you put that, Rafa. I have been living here here forever yeah uh, because here is where you are for Zeb it's there because from where she is Spain is over there but from where you are it's here where you're living so I've been living here forever in your life you're not dead yet so you use that I have been living here I have been it's that lovely perfect tense and you something you need to develop a feel for so take that one on board maybe write it out maybe record it on the live thread um, on the li on the um, voice chat voice thread and then uh, I can listen to you say it okay because using it will embed it in your brain um, and Seb said Google Google map gave me the information we actually say Google Maps I don't know why but I think that's what it's called Google Maps because it's more than one map, I guess. <laughs> You've always been living there. Ah, nice, nice, Seb. Would you like to move and live somewhere else? Ooh, that's a good question. Rafa there said, no, I've lived in another towns. Okay, I've lived in other towns. I've lived in another town. Another is singular. And when you're doing it plural towns, other is the one you want to use. I love my country. It's between mountains and sea. But if is necessary, I will move to another site. OK. But if it were necessary, I would move to another site. Mm, the conditional. And it's a conditional you would be reluctant to do, but would do it if necessary. So you'd use that I would if I had to. <laughs> Zeb then said, yes, the landscape must be awesome. Do you get bored sometimes living in the middle of nature? Zeb, you're such a city girl. Um, then Rafa said, I'm boring sometimes, but not as for the nature proximity. Boring is our problem and it causes is in ourselves. I love reading and listening music, but don't think that I'm living in a lonely place. OK, so Rafa, we did point out that bored and boring. I'm sure you're not boring. In fact, we're very interested in what you were saying. So you're not boring, but you are bored. So what you'd say is I'm bored sometimes or I get bored sometimes, but not because of the proximity of nature. Boredom is our problem and the cause is in ourselves. Yay. I love reading and listening to music. But I don't think that I'm living in a lonely place. Very good. And then um, Rafa then took on board our bored versus boring uh, suggestion. And he said, I could say that I'm bored sometimes, not always. It's correct now. I don't have many times to get bored. Mm, I don't have enough time to get bored. OK, good. Because uh, bo only boring people get bored. <laughs> Then he said, I'll try remember it for another time. I've just finished to speak with a friend and I don't understand your last po post. I understand everything I write. My problem is that I can't forget my language and I'm translating all the time. Oh, I'm translating all time. So, so um, what you wanted to say, Rafa, is I'll try to remember it another time. I've just finished speaking with a friend and I can't understand your last post. I understand everything I write. <laughs> my problem is that I can't forget my language and I'm translating all the time. Good. And then um, you posted that twice. So sometimes on Discuss and other forums, things don't appear immediately. Um, don't worry about it. It will generally, it either means it's gone, well, Rafi, your stuff shouldn't be going into moderation, but uh, it might have gone into moderation. There's no need to post it twice, okay? And then I wrote, that's just your brain. I know it knows what you want to say. 
The trick is convincing other people that they know what you mean. <laughs> then said um, Zeb um, asked, do you also take advantage of the sea, like swimming or windsurfing? And Rafa said, you, Zeb, you speak English very well. I'm happy that known you. Hmm. I'm happy to know you. Yeah, I'm happy to have met you. Uh, I'm happy that known you. Doesn't make any sense. I'm happy to have met you. Uh, yes at the second question. So that should be yes to the second question. I like swimming in the sea and I practice windsurfing. Yay, another windsurfer. <laughs> Zeb replied, thanks for the compliment about my English. Maybe one day you'll hear me speak. Um, you have to meet Alwind here. Windsurfing is one of his hobbies and his, his favourite move is the burner. <laughs> How do you remember these things, Zeb? Amazing memory. So then Shridhar came back and gave his Skype ID. Now, I don't mind people leaving their Skype IDs here, but um, it's a public open discussion board. You might not want to, but anyhow. Um, and uh, anyone can read your posts. Just, just a thought before you start posting up your um, Skype IDs and your um, email addresses. <laughs> you might want to be in a more enclosed space before doing that or send it privately or something. So Rafa then said, I have to go now. I have some work to do before my next break. See you later. See you later, alligator. Anyhow, Science24, and I know who Science24 is. Hi, nice seeing you in Second Life Science and on Skype. Uh, Science24 said, hi there, how are you doing? Is it going with learning English here? Hmm. Um, are we learning English here? Maybe that's what you wanted to say. And I wrote, hi, hi Science24, were you the same Science24 who joined us in Second Life? If you aren't, that's one heck of a coincidence. <laughs> and Science wrote, yes, it's me who was there in Second Life. I hope we will talk about, my, about science. My contagious diseases will be diffused then, lol. Or maybe to visit Atomium again. And... Um, what you would say there is, yes, uh, it's me. I was there in Second Life. I hope we will talk about science uh, one day. Then my contagious diseases may be diffused, <laughs> lol. Or maybe to visit, no E at the end, yeah? V-I-S-I-T, the Atomium again. We say the Atomium. Okay. And before anybody gets confused, we didn't visit in real life. We went to the Second Life um, version of Brussels and we saw the Second Life version of the Atomium. It's very good, I have to say. Um, then Seb said, the Atomium in Belgium? <laughs> and Science went, yes, the big face-centred cubic FCC structure of iron in Belgium. But it was a virtual visit in our Second Life. Um, do you know any chemical statues neither than Atomium to plan it for the next trip. Then you will be our tourist guide, LOL. So what you wanted to say there, um, do you know of any chemical statues other than the Atomium to plan for the next trip? Then you'll be our tourist guide, capital T for then, because it's a second uh, sentence. Um, Zeb replied, other than the Atomium and linked to chemistry, what pops to mind is chemical weathering. It's nature made and it happens when acidic rainwater falls on limestone. Maybe there are some caverns in SL showing this phenomena. Okay. Um, other than the Atomium and linked to chemistry, what pops to mind is chemical weathering. It's a natural process. You wouldn't say it's nature made. It's a natural process and it happens when acidic rainwater falls on limestone. Maybe there are some caverns in SL showing this phenomena. Yes, there are. <laughs> Science then, I think you have a strong chemical background. Yes, you're right. If you know some wonderful places where we can find and see stalagmites and stalactites, let's visit them. It will be a wonderful trip, no doubt. <laughs> Zeb then said, I hope you didn't bet any money on it. You would have lost. I have no special knowledge about chemistry. In real life, I could take you around Besançon, but in second life, I'm sorry, I haven't rezzed there. Not sure if rez is the correct word. It is, Zeb. It's perfect, yeah. To rez means to appear in a virtual world, okay? When your avatar appears, you're rezzing, and things rez around you as well. Then science said, anyway, when you said chemical weathering, it seems a chemist comment. Uh, so, anyway... Um, not anyway, uh, I just get rid of the anyway there and just say, when you said chemical weathering, it seemed like a chemist comment or it seemed like the sort of comment 
comment a chemist would make <laughs> okay and even if you're not even you are not a chemist and even if you're not a chemist you are interested in aren't you you are interested in it aren't you can you tell us more about Besançon? Is there what we are looking for? Mm. Uh, can you tell us more about Besançon? Um, is what we are looking for there? Question mark and capital I for is. And then Zeb said, when you asked about statues and chemistry, it made me think of a vis visit to Besançon in the east part of France. There are lots of limestone in low mountainous areas. OK, limestone is uncountable, so there is lots of limestone in low mountainous areas. Kirsty and Glidderick took me around to show me inside some caverns. Your question reminded me about it. And you, being into science, I googled for the scientific name. Voila! Ha <laughs> ha! Very clever. Thank goodness for Google. Ah, and then Moose came back. You know, I was sure I'd seen Moose um, uh, talk again. But Moose, try and stick to one thread. It makes it easier to find your posts. Um, Moose said, hello, everyone. How are you tonight? Um, so how capital H and then capital H for hello as well. I'm new in this room. So no capital N. Not, not I'm new in this room and I'm in need to improve my English speaking and writing. So um, I'm new in this room and I need to improve my English speaking and writing. Zeb replied, hi Moose, I was also chatting in Kitely when you wrote this. I bought a hat there, but it was a wee bit too big. I will have to make some adjustments to it and maybe change the colour too. <laughs> and I wrote, hi Moose, last night we were chatting in Kitely, but early this morning when you wrote, wrote your post in my time, I was tucked up in bed sleeping like a log. Did you choose that name deliberately or is it your real name? And I know Moose, you did reply, but again, I think you replied outside the thread, so it's very difficult to follow your posts if you don't reply rather than starting a new thread. Uh, Ziad Ahmed then said, first of all, I want to say big thanks to everyone work to improve this site. OK, so what you wanted to say, Ziad, first with a capital F, first of all, I want to say a big thanks to everyone who's worked to improve this site. Thanks too much because you help a lot fi to find good job. OK, so thanks so much, capital T for thanks, uh, because you help us a lot. OK, good job. Job, J-O-B, not J-O-P, otherwise it's yop. I'm not sure if that's even a word. <laughs> I then said, hi, Ziad. That's really nice. Thank you. Did you mean job? <laughs> and then um, Zeb started a thread. IE is not usually good at promoting itself, but this time I think they've got something. Internet Explorer 11, the anima trailer. Mm. And she gave us a link to an anima made by, believe it or not, Microsoft. It's actually really good. Um, and then she said to Rafa and Alwyn, do you like anima? Aladdin um, then replied, said, no way to use it again, even if Microsoft upgrade it to be the fastest browser in the world because they don't even care about users. Currently, Chrome is the best one. Thanks, Google. I agree. I like Chrome, but I had to deinstall my Chrome on my laptop. It went all terribly bad. I don't know why. So it's not it's not perfect. No software is perfect. <laughs> and I replied, I'm not sure if any of them really care about their users. They care about the image of their software. And so they care about some of their users, those users that other users listen to, maybe. <laughs> Very, I must have been feeling very cynical. Uh, Zeb replied, a geeky friend Rubens doesn't want to hear about anything except opera. Personally, I haven't sworn fidelity to any one of them. Did you like the anima? <laughs> Aladdin replied, yes, I did. I like animation movies. Opera was my best browser until they removed... Uh, until they remove bookmark bar. OK, so you'd say there, Opera was my favourite browser until they removed the bookmark bar. And then Zeb replied, have you heard of Ghost in the Shell? It's one of my favourite anima. Uh, Aladdin said, I never heard of it. Mm. That's when you have to say, I have, I had never heard of it. Because you have now, so you can't say, I never heard of it. I had never heard of it before. I know Death Note, Naruto, and my favourite one was Teen Ninja Turtles. So that was my, my cue to join this conversation. Which turtle was your favourite, I asked. <laughs> Aladdin said Michelangelo or Michelangelo. And um, Zeb then said, was 
Ninja Turtle is not anymore among your favourites? <laughs> yeah, you need a question mark there because I think you're asking. Um, and I wouldn't say that's a very French way of putting it. You'd say, um, isn't Ninja Turtles one of your favourites anymore? And then she said, I used to watch Ninja Turtles with my brother when he was a kid. It was the French version based on the Japanese manga and aimed for kids, aimed at kids. It had a huge success in France. Mm. It was hugely successful in France. I loved it too. I liked the sense of humour of the series, even though only Gilles was a kid at the time. <laughs> I watched a few episodes of Naruto and Death Note, only a few as grown-up activities. Actually getting into a job and walking and working caught up with me. <laughs> I couldn't make time to keep going what to keep going watching Japanimations. Ooh, anima, I think. It's easier. If we stay on manga and Japanima, uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, but not Dragon Ball Z, and One Piece are the ones that I've enjoyed the most. This is a completely new language for me. Uh, you still read manga or watch Japanimations? Aladdin replied, it was because I thought I talked about something happened in the past. Ah, Okay. It was because I thought I was talking about something that happened in the past. <laughs> Sorry for Ninja. Indeed, it's my favourite. Unfortunately, I'm not reading manga, but instead of that, I'm very interesting to watch animation movies like Toy Story, Madagascar, Ratatouille, Finding Nemo, Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Hotel Transylvania, etc. Ooh, you reminded me of Mazinga Z. I had a lot of video cassette for this series. So, um... Unfortunately, I don't read manga. Okay. Instead of that, I'm very interested in watching animation movies like blah, blah, blah. And then you have reminded me of Mazinga Z. I had a lot of video cassettes for this series. And video, not a capital V. Yeah, just a small V. And then Zeb said, Mazinga Z, yes. It was called Godol Golderac in France. One of the first of this genre to be broadcasted broadcasted no to be broadcast in France I remember some parents didn't let their kids watch it others wanted it to be censured they failed ha ha <laughs> no not censured you censure a person when you tell them off censored when you cut bits out of something or um, blacken out words because you don't like the words it's censorship so it's c-e-n-s-o-r-e-d censored okay I had watched the anima that Zeb shared and I wrote, and I share Zeb, I could do with one of those shields to fight the bots. <laughs> and as Zeb said, doom bots are hard to win over, pretty much like Daleks. Keep up the good work, Doctor. <laughs> and I replied, are you ready for the 50th anniversary? And um, Zeb sadly said, it's not going to be broadcasted in France. So it's not going to be broadcast in France. And I have no plan B so far. Ah, oh, shame. Never mind. Um, maybe you could uh, sneak a peek uh, on, on somebody's English stream. <laughs> um, so, uh, Mohammed wrote, "I hi there. I'm so happy. Cues of learning English with you." Okay. So, Mohammed, it would be hi there. I'm so happy to be learning English with you, and English with a capital E. And I wrote, hi, Mohammed, making people happy makes me happy. It's true. Uana Corina Capatura. OK, I'll, I'll call you Uana if you don't mind. It's a nice feeling to know that you made someone happy. And it's even more wonderful, the person who can feel happy when doing it with others, as you are, Lynn. Thank you for all. Oh, that's so sweet. OK. And I agree. It is a nice feeling to know that you have made someone happy then comma and a space. OK, you're not leaving a space after your punctuation. So comma, space. And it's even more wonderful um, if the um, if you can feel happy when doing it as you do, Lynn. OK, so I think it would be and it's even more wonderful if you can feel happy when doing it uh, for others as you are, Lynn. Thank you for everything. Not thank you for all. Thank you for everything. Um, Mohammed then asked Rafa, hi Rafa, what's your country's name? And I replied, by the way, Mohammed, you'd say, hi Rafa, where are you from? Yeah. Uh, 
Um, we don't say what's your country's name because countries just are countries. Okay, they have names, but what's the name of your country? You just wouldn't say. You just say, oh, where are you from? And so I replied, if you were going to name a country, what name would you give it? And Amatsu was cowardly and said, that's a hard question, Lynn. <laughs> Didn't even have a go. It's not that hard. Just make up a name. Zeb was braver. She said, if it was a country with plenty of birds, I would call it Goondi Windy. <laughs> I love it. But if it were a place with big water, big water? I've never seen big water before. Or are you doing Australian talk there? <laughs> if it was a place with lots of water, I would prefer, prefer to call it Murrumbidgee. Which for me raises the question, what are the main characteristics of this country? Well, it sounds like it's got lots of birds or lots of water. <laughs> Aladdin replied, Atlantis. But I did pull him up on this because I said, but Atlantis exists, Aladdin, albeit only virtually. The inhabitants are called Atlanteans. Um, Zeb had asked, what would you call the Atl inhabitants of Atlantis? And Aladdin said, Atlantis citizen. But as we know, Atlantis is in second life. And people who go there and spend their time there are Atlanteans. <laughs> and uh, Zeb then asked, what would life be like in Atlantis? And I replied, life would be possible. Um, Zeb said, for mosquitoes too. And I'm sorry to say, yes, Zeb, but their bites don't itch. <laughs> There are, there are mosquitoes in Second Life. Aladdin then said, what if I told you that you can't imagine what you're capable to do in this land? For example, you can fly. Okay, Aladdin, you'd say, what if I told you that you can't imagine what you'd be capable of doing in this land? For example, you can fly. Um, Aladdin, uh, Zeb then said, I would go, Aladdin. I mean, the world I live in already allows me to do things I hardly imagine I could do. So, I think what you meant to say, Zeb, was, I mean, the world I live in already allows me to do things I hardly imagine I could do. Flying is part of it. Until I mingled with a few recreational pilots who got me into flying, I had no idea that it was open for me too. Leaving work for some time for travelling on my own was another one. And um, maybe we should start a country called Possibility. <laughs> but I'm afraid we'll have to leave it at that for this week because we've run out of time. And I'll carry on um, probably during the week. I'll do the rest of them. OK, so there'll be another live chat. And that's what I'll do. If we run out of time, I'll do another one. But not today because I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> I know I can talk for England, but I do have limits. So um, tune in again during the week. Um, you should get a message if you've subscribed to the YouTube uh, or to the Spreaker um, service. So you'll know when it gets done. And I'll do it before next Tuesday, I promise. OK, and you know me. I always keep my promises if I can. <laughs> so um, keep talking, everybody. Join the conversation. Have fun with your English. That's the way to have. People always say, how can I have fun with English? And I say, use it. It's fun. <laughs> And it was lovely reading your text as well. It was um, you know, some really good conversations there. Well done to you all, especially those who kept the conversation going. So see you next time. I won't say next week. See you next time. Take care and remember, be nice, be kind. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. <laughs>